Hello everyone, I hope you're all well and safe. My name is Lily Stock and I'm an apprentice chef at Boodle's Gentleman's Club in London. I have worked there for nearly three years now and this is my second time in the Nestle Top Door final. So I'm very excited to share with you some information on my topic of roles in the kitchen. Most modern professional kitchens operate according to a positional kitchen hierarchy. This hierarchy is termed the Brigade de Cuisine, a French brigade system adopted to ensure kitchen operations run smoothly. The size and structure of the brigade varies depending on the size and style of the restaurant. For example, if you work in a small kitchen, it's unlikely that you have a person for every position. Despite this, it's important that you're aware of the kitchen hierarchy and know how your position operates within this. There are many positions in this hierarchy and each one holds an important role in the overall function of the kitchen. The six positions that I'm about to explain to you are the most typical. So first we have the executive chef. Their role is primarily managerial. Executive chefs tend to manage the kitchens and are not usually directly responsible for cooking. We then have the head chef who will typically focus on managing and supervising the staff, controlling costs and making purchases and will liaise with the restaurant manager and suppliers to create new menus. We then have the sous chef who shares a lot of the same responsibilities as the head chef. However, they are much more involved in the day-to-day -day operations in the kitchen. The sous chef also fills in for the head chef when they are not present. The next role we have is the chef de party or station chef. This role is vital in part of the brigade system, but is split into, into many different roles. There is more than one chef de party and each one is responsible for a different section of the kitchen. This makes kitchen operations much more productive and helps to coordinate large quantities of meals at busier times. Some examples of chef de party roles can include a sauce chef, the butcher, a fish chef, a grill chef, or a pantry chef. We then have the commie chef, who works under the chef de party to learn the ins and outs of a specific section. This chef usually has recently completed or is in still taking part in formal training at a college. The final role is the kitchen porter, who assists in basic tasks and complete the cleaning and washing up. Thank you for watching and I hope this will encourage the young chefs out there to get involved in this industry.